Today is a mysterious day, but also an amazing day for the AI space. Now on Twitter, as well as many forums like Hacker News, there has been a lot of chatter about this mysterious ChatGPT alternative called GPT-2 Chatbot. This was something that was released earlier today. No one really knows where it came from or who's actually behind the project. Now surprisingly, it gives incredible results in code generation, mathematics, as well as reasoning. Just take a look. Now, someone on Twitter actually asked GPT-2 chatbot to create an HTML file that can animate a 3D cube. He copied the code and was able to generate this 3D animation of the cube, which is just amazing to see. Currently, you can actually access this model through LMSYS, which is the chatbot arena, also a way for you to have direct chats with different large language models. Now, you can head over to the direct chat tab. Once you click on this drop down menu, you're going to be able to see the GPT-2 chatbot and you can start chatting with it right away. Now, it's not known who developed this model, but rumors are that it could be GPT-3.0, or sorry, 4.5, and it already even surpassed GPT-4 in various benchmarks. For example, this is an ASCII art, which is pretty hard for various language models to actually generate. Now, I'm not saying GPT-4 can't do this, but if you are to compare it to many open source models or even models like Claude, they're not able to have the ability to generate ASCII art like this. Obviously, this is not like a huge benchmark you can evaluate any language model off of, but you can see that it's able to do small tasks like this, which is just great to see. Now, a lot of people on Twitter have been trying to reverse engineer the model by figuring out who actually created it. And you can simply do that by asking the model, who made you? And in this case, the user was able to get this response from the model, which stated that I was created by OpenAI, a research organization. And it later on states that they developed me, ChatGPT, as part of their series of language models based on the GPT architecture. Now, something cool to note is that replies are saying that many models claim this. Do advanced models make the mistake though? Llama3 is quite happy saying that it was made by Meta. Now, this is just speculation, obviously. Nothing is truthful until there's official releases or official announcements as to what this model is. But it's just great to see that there is benchmarks slowly but surely showing that this model is able to outcompass GPT-4 as well as many open source models. Now, here's another Twitter thread which is focusing on lots of notes about this model. Now, there's a TLDR on it. Firstly, it states that completely invented model name, no info about it whatsoever anywhere. It is absurdly good in terms of its output, subjectively feels like an improved version of GPT-4. It's not visible in the leaderboard, nor is it visible in API results. Very likely open AI because A, there's special tokens, model claims, as well as very specific ownership claims. There's a prompt injection, which is similar to GPT-4's. Now, another note is that it's an unaffected by other models formatting or special tokens. And lastly, it states that it's possibly particularly a rate limit, which is not actually confirmed. And the theory is that it could be GBT 4.5 or 5 itself. Now, in my opinion, this does look it like it's very possible to be an early version of the GPT 4.5 model. I'm not saying that's going to be GPT 5 yet, as I think that it's going to be uh, released a couple months later into the year but i definitely see that this could be an early version of gpt 4.5 based off the benchmarks that i have been able to see off of twitter as well as all of these other forums now what we're going to be doing next is actually testing out this model to see how it's actually able to perform in comparison to other models just as a starter i'm going to ask it to generate a snake game in python using pygame so once it has generated the code i'm going to put it into vs code and then i'm going to simply just try it out sorry for being repetitive but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to ai tools completely for free these are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency just being a patron this past month you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free not only do you access these subscriptions but you gain the ability for consulting networking collaborating with the community as well as with myself you get access to daily ai news resources giveaways and so much more if you're interested check out the patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits now while this is generating code i'm gonna head over to this twitter post over here which is quite interesting by this user over here 
Now, he was able to get a comparison with all the state-of-the-art models, such as Claude Opus, you have Gemini Ultra, as well as GPT-4. And the prompt that he used to assess the models is that, I have three apples, yesterday I ate one, how many apples do I have? Now, if you are to take a look at the model that Croc responded with, it stated that it had two apples left. If you take a look at the Gemini Advanced model, which is Gemini Ultra, it stated that it has two apples left. If you take a look at Claude's model, it states that two apples left. And again, if you take a look at GPT-4, it states that it has two apples left. Now, if you are to take a look at the response that ChatGPT, or not ChatGPT, but GPT-2 chatbot gave, it stated that you have three apples today. The fact that you ate one apple yesterday does not affect the number of apples you have today. You currently have three apples. Now, this is assessing the language model's understanding of basic arithmetic as well as logic. It requires the model to understand the starting point of which or how many apples you have. And it also is evaluating the model's ability to perform simple subtraction and track the changes over time. Now, this prompt doesn't seem to specifically target any particular capability of a language model like we saw with ChatGPT or with Claude3's Opus model, but rather it assesses the fundamental aspect of logical reasoning and arithmetic. Now, I can say that this model, GPT-2 chatbot, did a great job. Now, I tested this out personally with ChatGPT's 4 model, and it was actually able to accomplish the task. But when I did it a couple other times, it wasn't actually able to generate the right answer. Now, when I did it with multiple generations with GPT-2 chatbot, it was able to get that right answer. And it shows that it does quite well in basic arithmetic as well as logic. Now back to the snake game example, I have opened up VS Code and copied the code that it has generated from the chatbot. And now what I'm going to do is create a new file, a new Python file. I'm going to paste the code in. Once that is done, I'm going to click enter by, or sorry, clicking the play button to have it see if it's actually functional. Now I'm going to save the Pi game file to my desktop. And within a couple seconds, we should have it opened up. And there we go we have our snake game loaded up now i'm not too sure what this model is yet but it does look like it could be something that was developed by OpenAI. i'll be keeping you guys updated on this because this is something that is kind of mind-blowing and if it is gpt 4.5 we should be seeing it sooner than later so with that thought guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of idea as to what this mysterious chatbot is there's a lot more examples on twitter so if you're interested definitely read through these posts because a lot of amazing people have been posting a lot about this. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Definitely recommend that you try it out so you can get started with this. I'll leave the Patreon link in the description below as well. So this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out my previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.